Brilliant. So welcome to day four of the Advent Calendar. Um, we've got a student here filming today, which is brilliant. Um, so again, we've worked methodically. You've um, worked through the neck and cervical thoracic junction. So now um, it just reminded me because me and our student were just working over the muscles, over the scapula on the shoulder. Um, so you've got this lovely big um, shoulder blade here, the scapula. And if you find the bony ridge on your horse, on this scapula, you've got the spine of the scapula. So this nice long muscle to the front of it is the supraspinatus. And the back side of it, the caudal aspect, is the infraspinatus. So what you want to do is put the flats of your hand here, where the scapula articulates with the humerus. So the scapula humerus. So put the flats of your hand. So my right hand is doing a compression glide over the supraspinatus. And my left hand is over the infraspinatus. And then I'm gliding up towards the withers and then coming back down. So I'm stripping up diagonally towards the withers and coming back down. Back up, and coming back down. So the horses don't have a collarbone. These, these are stabilizers, these muscles. So they do need to be kept in good order. And although they are in effect sort of sat on top of the scapula, supraspinatus and infraspinatus are deep muscles. So then I don't know which way the camera wants to be. But once you've done that, then you can do a technique called cupping. So you face the front there and you can just arch your hand like that, like a little suction cup. And then you can start to portments. cupping which is your deportments so a healthy muscle a good muscle has good strong pressure changes going through and when they get a bit tight or a bit sore or he worked hard like he did yesterday you want to go in there as a, as a manual therapist or even as a horse owner and generate something moving again get some blood flow and oxygen um, and almost mimic those pressure changes yourself to get things going which is where the deportments come in stir things back up. So that's your supraspinatus, infraspinatus, compression glides diagonally up to the withers and then the cupping which is clashes your deportments or percussion. So this is just a little bonus element at the end of um, day four video. This is our student working up through the triceps and you've got your deltoid muscles, your shoulder muscles through there. And she's just shimmying and stripping through, which you can tell Parker is a huge fan of. Very relaxing. And we do this at the end of each shoulder massage. Great. <laughs> 